Unraveling the moon calf, a dive into a quirky phrase. Hello there. Today, we're diving deep into a rather unique and somewhat poetic phrase in the English language, moon calf. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand its meaning but also where it comes from and how to use it. Let's get started. Before anything else, let's break down the words. We have moon, that lovely celestial body that illuminates our night sky. Calf, a young cow. Now, you might be thinking, what do the moon and a young cow have to do with each other? Well, that's where the beauty of language comes in. While the literal combination of moon and calf might seem puzzling, the term moon calf has been historically used to denote 1. A foolish or absent-minded person, someone who is often lost in their own world or behaves strangely, not unlike someone who's over the moon with distraction. 2. Historically, it was also used to refer to a deformed or monstrous birth, which was once believed to be caused by the sinister influence of the moon. Example, she was always such a moon calf, daydreaming and forgetting her tasks. The concept of the moon influencing odd behaviors and occurrences has deep roots. For instance, the word lunatic comes from luna, which means moon in Latin. The belief was that certain phases of the moon, especially the full moon, could induce madness or strange behaviors. Moon calf, in its historical context, taps into these same ancient beliefs about the moon's mystical influences on earthly events. While it's not as commonly used in everyday conversations today, moon calf still pops up in literature, movies, and occasionally in conversations to describe someone who's a bit dreamy or absent-minded. Tips. Use it playfully and avoid it in formal contexts. Be mindful of its historical usage, which could be considered derogatory. Today, it's more light-hearted and endearing. Example, my brother's a real moon calf. He forgot his own birthday. And there you have it. The whimsical and poetic moon calf. The next time you come across someone who's lost in their thoughts or acting a tad bit strange, you have a delightful phrase up your sleeve. We hope this video has illuminated this fascinating term for you. Until next time, keep exploring the richness of the English language.